Good morning! It is such a nice day today. It is the sun is shining and it's such good vibes. Oh, hello! Can I help you? And anyway, as I was saying, it's such good vibes and it's just such a nice morning. But very quickly before we get into the video, I just want to thank today's sponsors, Skin and Me, but we will talk more about them later. So if you didn't already know, I'm training for the London Marathon. I'm running it April 23rd. Uh, very excited, very nervous. I'm raising money for Pancreatic Cancer UK because my mum passed away from pancreatic cancer when I was 17. So I'm doing it for her five year anniversary this year. I will link my Just Giving page down below if you want to donate. Um, but yeah, so I've decided to run the marathon. I'm in week five of my training so far. And I am really enjoying it to be fair. Like I was never a runner. I never liked running. But do you know what? I'm actually quite enjoying it. I'm staying disciplined. I'm doing my runs. I'm doing my training and it's going quite well. I ran 18K last week. 18 kilometers, which is the furthest I've ever run in my life. Well, before starting training the marathon, I literally only ever run 5K before, like not even 10K, nothing like that. Uh, so yeah, I did 18K in two hours, yes, um, not yesterday, last week, which was just insane. And Sundays are my long run days. So today I'm gonna not go for more because when you're training for a marathon, you have to like let your body rest and recover and like you can't keep increasing it each week, you know what I mean? So if I did 18 last week, I should probably do less this week and then go up again next week that type of stuff i do have a training plan it's all on my phone like it's on my lock screen like i have this whole training plan that i look at every day but today's run is supposed to be 75 minutes so that will probably be about a 12 13k i'll probably do 13k today i actually do need to do a bit more um research into nutrition surrounding marathon and like what i should be eating before and after my runs also i don't have a running belt yet and i don't have any like gels or anything like that so i really need to get into that but yeah i've been running on my treadmill a lot because one i don't know how to pace myself outside and two most of the time when i run it's after work so it's dark and i am terrified of my own shadow and I will not be running in the dark by myself like that it's just not happening but on days like today when the weather is so nice outside and it's bright and it's light and it's in the morning I might run outside today but I don't have a stupid running bell or any gels or anything so oh I don't know if to run on my treadmill today or run outside but yeah anyway I'm very excited for the marathon uh and I don't think it's quite sunken yet also I have set myself the target to run it in under four hours. I actually don't know where like I got the audacity from. Like, why do I think I'll be able to do that? I don't know. Um, so I actually am not too sure on that target at the moment. Under four and a half, definitely. Under four and a half, I've got that. Uh, under four, I'm not so sure at the moment, but yeah. Um, but yeah, very fun times. And it's gonna be a good, productive, long run Sunday. I'm gonna have a monster which I never have like I never normally have an energy drink before I run but I feel like I need to start having some sort of energy something rather pre-workout because I haven't been doing that I have this monster I've literally never had it before I'm not really a energy drink kind of gal <coughs> pardon me <coughs> pardon me <coughs> pardon me <laughs> um well, it smells quite nice it smells quite tropical let's give it a try that's really sweet. That's really sweet. But you know what? Mm. I mean, it's fine. Oh, it's really annoying that I don't have a running belt because like I'm gonna drive to the place that I'm gonna run. So I'm gonna need something to like hold my keys and I'll have my phone. It's just gonna be a bit annoying, but whatever. We'll, we'll make something work. This is actually really growing on me. The more I drink it, the more I like it. This is so annoying, right? I am just about ready to go. I was just about to show you my fit and guess what? Oh God. This lighting's not great, but guess what? My Apple Watch isn't charged. And I've like started eating my pre-workout, started drinking my energy drink. 
and it's not hard. It's like dead. Mm. That is the most annoying thing ever. Let me show you the fit while we're here. Right. Can you actually ignore my room? Like it's actually a mess at the moment. But these Gymshark shorts, Gymshark top, Gymshark sports bra. And yeah, that's the fit. Okay, so my Apple Watch is nearly halfway charged. So I'm gonna just let it charge halfway and then hopefully that will last me a run. Like surely it will. Um, I'm also gonna wear, this is literally my dad's, it's so big on me. But, like this is how big it is on me. I'm gonna wear this because I don't have a running belt and I just need pockets. And I don't really have anything like this. I have one which was like my old school one from like years ago and it fits. But I can't do it up and I'd rather be able to do it up. So we're going for the oversized look today. When I wear it, you can't even see that I'm wearing shorts. So that's great. This is gonna be me running. <laughs> um, but I just thought for today, it will do the job until I get a running belt. Let's run. <laughs> do you wanna come on my run with me? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Arguing again, arguing about something so simple Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end Alright, so I've just hit 6.5k And my legs are dying Like they feel so tired and heavy And I feel like this is at the point in my run where I would need to take a gel if I had one, but obviously I don't. So I've just come back to the car to get some water. Fucking hell. Oh my God, my legs just feel so heavy and sore and it's just not, oh, it's hard, but I'm take a little refresher and then try and finish this 12K. I'm also trying to get a 10K PB, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, we're going again. Let's fucking do this. <sighs> Oh my legs. Okay, so I've just finished 10K. I did a PB, look, I did it in 57 minutes, 57 seconds, which I am over the moon about. I'm so happy about. I know I took that like minute break at 6.5K, but I don't even care. I'm so gassed. I'm so happy with that time. When I finished that, I genuinely couldn't breathe. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna vomit. I'm gonna have an asthma attack. Like I felt really not great, but my heart rate has recovered now. Um, but I was supposed to do 75 minutes today and not just 60 minutes. Oh, my legs are so sore. They are so sore. Also, my hair probably looks a right mess. Please ignore that. But my legs are so unbelievably sore. So what I might do is, oh, I was going to say like walk for another 15 minutes. I really can't bother to do that, but I think I will. I'm going to walk slash jog for 15 minutes just so I can do the 75 minutes. Like I won't probably won't do 12K today because I went really hard on those last few kilometers for the 10K. So I'm really quite dying right now. Actually, scrap that. I've been walking for about two minutes and I'm gonna go home. My legs are so sore. I'm gonna have a shower, bath, something. I need to foam roll, I need to stretch. My legs are just too sore to be doing this. So I'm gonna just go home. Oh, ooh, ooh, dry your eyes. The world can always give you reasons to cry. Okay, so I'm all showered and fresh. I think I've actually caught the sun today a little bit. Like I'm a little bit rosy around my cheeks and I do get like blushed cheeks quite a lot, but I think this is sunburn. I think I've caught the sun, which I'm kind of happy about. Like it's February and I've caught the sun. Um, but obviously I'm all showered. So now we have to do some skincare because after you run, you're gonna be all sweaty and skincare is so important. And we all know I've got problem skin by now. I mentioned it earlier. I just need to keep up with my skincare routine to try and avoid breakouts, which obviously it brings me on to today's sponsors, Skin and Me. I'm very excited to be sponsoring them because I've been using their daily doser for a few weeks now and I've definitely noticed some improvements in my skin. So their daily doser is completely tailored to your own skin goals and is designed by dermatologists using active ingredients that you can't get over the counter. So my personal main skin goal is to get rid of breakouts 
to get rid of spots. And after completing Skin and Me's very easy online consultation, I was designed my very own daily doser. The packaging is so personable and I love that it says for Leah because that makes me feel like I'm special, you know? <laughs> so since it's the new year, I've really been staying on top of my skincare routine and focusing on building healthy habits. And it can take up to two months to build a habit. And the most important thing is staying consistent. And Skin and Me's daily doser is so simple and so easy to use that it's really hard to not be consistent with it. It fits so easily into my skincare routine and I've been using it religiously for about a month now and I've definitely noticed improvements in my skin. It's designed as a fixed dose so you don't have to worry about how much of the product you're supposed to be using. It gives you the exact amount to use and as you're about to run out a new one is delivered straight to your door which means it is super convenient and very accessible and you don't have to worry about going to a store and repurchasing it when it just comes straight to your door and you can pause or cancel your subscription at any time. Since it's made to order there's no waste of product and their formulations are vegan and cruelty free which is always a plus. So I'm just going to show you how easy easy it is to use. So I've cleansed my face and now I'm going to, all you have to do is twist it. Let me bring this close to you. So all you have to do is twist it and then wait for the clip. See, did you hear that click? And then that is the perfect amount that you have to use. So you just take that off and you just use that on your face, rub it in gently. And then Bob's your uncle, it is that easy. So if you wanna try Skin and Me for yourself and get your own daily doser that is suited to your specific skincare needs, then you can go to the link in my description box and use my code LeahWatkey, which will get you your first daily doser for only £3.50 and normally they're £24.99. So that is such a good deal. You might as well try it out. See how the dermatology team creates a formulation for you and your specific skin needs and see if it works for you. So thank you so much to Skin and Me for sponsoring this video. You are making skin care so much easier and I love you. My legs are in absolute bits. I'm also starving so I'm gonna stretch quickly and foam roll and then we can get some food. My legs, I actually can't describe it to you, they've never been this bad. I did 18k the other day or last week and they weren't this bad. Like I need to like stretch and foam roll, I'm in so much pain. I know that foam rolling is good for you but it's just a bit painful really, isn't it? I'm also really not looking forward to foam rolling my quad because it hurts. It really hurts. Oh, but I was thinking today on my run, because obviously I did 10K at a pretty fast pace for me. How am I supposed to do that another three times? Because a marathon is 42K and I only ran a quarter of that today and I'm dying. So I know I've still got like 11 weeks to go but god 11 weeks isn't long is it it's not a long time ow ow okay i'm gonna just this is like not the most um <laughs> flattering i'm gonna foam roll my quad and then we'll be back okay i'm just stretching now i've done my foam rolling but um i really do think i need to invest in some gels and find what works for me because i really could have done one on my run today i feel like i wouldn't have stopped if I had a gel with me. I need to get a running belt. I also feel like I want to buy some Epsom salts. I don't know. I feel like that might be a bit of a placebo effect. But Epsom salts in the bath would surely help my muscle soreness. So I'm going to do a bit of an Amazon shop today. Right, I'm going to finish stretching and then get some food because I am absolutely starving. I'm so hungry. I have some spaghetti and meatballs here, which I am very excited about. I'm so, so hungry now. Mmm. Yeah, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm That is so yummy. Mm hmm So yummy. Oh, my legs hurt so much, but they hurt like a... Oh, dishwasher's rather loud. It's a bit annoying. Anyway, as I was saying, they hurt like a... Not like a, oh, I've run today hurt. They hurt like a... It shouldn't hurt like this hurt, so that's not great. Anyway, while I eat my 12, I am going to do a little Amazon shop for some of the bits that I need. Mmm, mmm, I love it well. And watch some TV and then go to bed to have an early night. It's currently half seven, so that's a bit early. Watch TV for like, I think I'll be in bed by like nine. I'm not joking, I am so tired and I've got work tomorrow and I have to be in early. So I'm just gonna chill out and just let my body relax because, oh my God, am I aching? Am I aching? Jeez, it is painful. I actually can hardly walk, it's not fun. I don't know what I'm going to be like in the morning. Huh? Oh well.
It's a few days later and I did a little Amazon shop. So I just thought I'd show you the little bits that I got because I was really struggling without some things that I needed. So I was like, do you know what Leah? You just have to bite the bullet and get them because you're gonna need them eventually. So I got some gels. Now I had no idea which gels to get. I felt like it was important, you know, which ones I got and I did just get any random ones. But I've seen these ones quite a lot. High five energy gels. So I'm gonna give these a try. I got what, what flavour did I get? I think I got berry. Yeah, I did get a berry. But I feel like these are going to come in really handy when my runs start getting longer and longer. So I'm excited to try them out. Also, I feel like I need to try them. Obviously, I'm going to need some in the marathon. So I need to see what works best for me for that and like do trial and error. Anyways, and then I got a running belt, finally. So it's kind of like nothing. But also, I don't really need it to carry much. But I'm going to see if it fits my phone. I'm so impressed by that. Look how perfect that is. And then, I'm wearing a hoodie right now, but look at that. Oh my God, I'm a proper runner now. I've got a running belt. That is unreal. And that is perfect. And I reckon I could fit a few gels in there and my car keys. Bob's your uncle, I'm done. How brilliant is that? Um, and then, my daddy, bless him. Because obviously I borrowed his big gilet, which was so huge on me. He bought me my own gilet. How sweet is that? So I have my very own gilet. Hold on, let me take my top off. I am actually running. What, running? I'm, a, I'm actually wearing the top that I wore on my run the other day. So this is quite a good test to see how it would fit on my run. But isn't that so thoughtful of him? Bless, really sweet. But I've got, now got my own one that doesn't completely engulf me when I run and... How perfect is that? I've got some pockets. It fits like a glove. I love it. So now I have, before I had no options of carrying my belongings. And now I have two options. She's a runner. She's a runner gal. But yeah, that was my marathon training day in the life. I won't lie to you. That 10k run did me out. Oh my God, were my legs in so much pain for like so many days. Like since filming that to now, I have been in such agony. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. I'm definitely gonna be making more marathon running vlogs, especially if you enjoyed it. And also just a final reminder and a big thank you to Skin and Me for sponsoring this video. If you wanted to try them out for yourself, remember to go to the link in my description and use the code LeahWatkey and you'll get your first daily dosa for only £3.50, which is such a bargain. I mean, what type of skincare is only £3.50 nowadays? And especially skincare that is specifically tailored to your own skin, like, such a good deal. So go have a look and try out Skin Me for yourself. Thank you so much for sponsoring. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>